Remember that once you have your figure done, you also need to do a circle around uh, the figure. The size of the circle is something that you can decide on your own, and you can use a compass for that. We have those here in the classroom. I usually like to put the center of my circle right in between the belly button and hip line marks. And the way these compasses work is to put them down on the page so that you can read the words. That's the right way down. Find the center point where you're going to put it, maybe make a mark there, and you're going to hold that lightly with your finger. Then you're going to find the hole that corresponds to the size of circle you want. And what I like to do is put my uh, compass so that I'm out to the side like this, so that I can make sure I'm not going to go off the edge. These last few circles out at the end of the compass are too far out. And you want to make sure that when you do your circle, you put it behind your figure. So if I choose to make my circle, oh, about three and a half inches uh, in radius, which will be about seven inches in diameter, I'm going to start here and I'm going to stop and move my compass to where my hand is on the other side and then I'm going to keep going and I'm going to do the same thing. It's going to go over my head and I'm going to go here and I'm going to stop and I'm going to move it again, find the same hole and keep going down and I'm going to move so I can draw this way. I'm going to skip over behind my legs so that I'm not drawing my circle through my legs carefully all the way around like this. If I've held this carefully in one spot, I'm going to have a perfect circle. Now, some students might like to make double circles. I'm going to make a double circle. and I'm going to go this way, and I'm going to stop, and I'm going to keep going. I'm going to stop, go around my head, go past the arm carefully, all the way down like this, past the leg, Pass the leg again and around. Now I have a double circle. I can put my adjectives inside this. I can decorate further if I want to. Now don't forget, the first drawing you do, maybe the first two drawings you do are going to be practice drawings to get a feel for the correct proportions of the figure. The objective of this lesson is to create a figure that's in proper proportions so that the head is the correct size in relationship to the rest of the body. The hands and the feet are the correct size in relationship to the rest of the body. These are correct proportions. All humans have basically the same universal proportions. And when you're done, you'll be able to color in with colored pencil your decorations how you like it. I drew myself as an artist, so I have my paint palette here with my colors on it, my paint brush in my hand, and a very simple outfit with my Fear No Art shirt and my little pocket tool that I wear, and my belt, etc., etc. You'll notice that I've put various adjectives here in different places on my circle. I also use this drawing in my classroom that has all the dimensions on it to show students the size that certain things will be. And if you look through the examples on our website, you'll see lots and lots of different uh, examples. Students get to portray themselves as they wish, a dancer, a football player, an artist, etc., etc. That's entirely up to you.